and the Cats continue to press. The Geelong crowd's very vocal tonight. They want blood. They want the scalp of the mighty Brisbane Lions. The coach continues to work the phone. He'll need some sustenance to watch the rest of this. Here's a chance. Great snap by Ablett. The man has scored for the Cats. Oh, he'll be throbbing tomorrow. Oh, I love it. Very much. If you knew it was always going to be tough, the Lions came out similar. It doesn't get any better than this. Bloody hell. You idiot. Against your own team. What are you thinking? Isn't it great? If she gets them all right again this week, look out. How can anyone pick a full card four weeks in a row? C, 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 caramel, watch your L, shitty bars, chocolate bars, under, under, caramel, under, under, but your Charles, 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 itsy bitsy sexy boom. You want a drink? Yeah. Come and pick your teams, love. Your dad's going down to the club soon. Richmond v St Kilda, Geelong and Brisbane. What home game's that? Geelong. Someone's got to be helping her. As long as I get six out of eight. Everyone, before we get stuck into the barbecue, it's time to announce the Tippo winner for 2004. Now, it's been very close over the past few rounds, but after double checking some of the results, uh, it's time to bang your hands together for the youngest Tippo winner ever, little Susie McFarlane. Good on you, Susie. <laughs> season is over. You completely ruined it for me with your stupid obsession. I'm glad you didn't win. We're only friends because of football. It's about the game, Billy. Sorry, Billy. <laughs> So what's your trick for picking winners? She's just a kid, you know, maybe she's just lucky. Boots up! <laughs>
Greg was going to have a go at that umpire. You can't go wrong when you win, can you? <laughs>